नमस्कार वेलकम टू मैथवर्स मैथवर्स मीन्स मैथमेटिक्स एंड यूनिवर्स दैट टूगेदर कंबाइन टू गिव मैथवर्स ओके नाउ द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ इज अ वेरी स्पेशल वन इट इज स्पेशल बिकॉज इट इज बीन रिक्वेस्टेड बाई वेरी प्रेशियस व्यूअर ऑफ माइंड एंड द टॉपिक इज लॉगरिदम इज नोन एज द सेवेंथ मोस्ट फंडामेंटल ऑपरेशन इन मैथमेटिक्स ओके लॉगरिदम इज वेरी यूजफुल नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन बट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग हायर मैथमेटिक्स ओके बिकॉज लॉगरिदम हैज फास्ट एरिया ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इट इज यूज लाइक एवरी डे in physics and chemistry and other fields also so without any more delay let's come to the main point let me write one expression here 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 okay now i can write it in generally as a to the power x is equal to b so comparing with this one a is equal to 2 x is equal to 3 b is equal to 8 i can take some other quantity also like 3 square is equal to 9 so then x is equal to 2 a is equal to 3 b is equal to 9 so in general if i want to express this x in terms of a and b then there is a special kind of function and the function is known as logarithm and that is x is equal to log of b to the base a this one is called base it means whatever we are calculating this number may change but for a particular base this will remain fixed and this one will denote several numbers with a change in this number okay so this is logarithm that we call it now this base can change and different types of logarithm we shall get so logarithm has some very beautiful properties of it let me prove one of them uh, one by one of them first of all is log of a plus log of b is equal to log of ab now i am not writing the base because this is the skeleton of the formula this is the main structure of the formula and this is applicable for any base okay that's why i didn't write the base at the first time now i can write it but one thing should be remember that the base will remain same okay now let's prove it for proving let me assume this much portion is equal to x1 okay and this much portion is equal to x2 let's see what happens log of a to the base c a to the base c is equal to x1 what does it mean from our definition in our definition a to the power x is equal to b and this this implied a is equal to log of b to the base a so here this if i run in the reverse then i shall get a equal to c to the power x1 like from similarly from this case i shall get b equal to c to the power x2 okay now in our desired right hand side there is one ab term here okay to get ab term i can simply multiply these two okay and if i multiply ab then it will give us c to the power x1 into c to the power x2 and as we know the power gets added therefore c c to the power x1 plus x2 so this is the expression we get ab is equal to c to the power x1 plus x2 therefore x1 plus x2 is equal to log of ab to the base c so this is proved because i took x1 this one and x2 as this one so finally i have got the answer now what if what if i simply changed it this plus by a minus what would happen Let us find out. Log of 
a to the plus c is equal to x1. I am assuming it x1 again. Then I am getting what? a is equal to c to the power x1. And from this one, I am getting b equal to c to the power x2. I, as I assume this one as x2. So I have got b equal to c to the power x2. Okay. Now, what we are doing here? This is x1, this is x2. And actually this expression is x1 minus x2 type of thing. Okay. Then somehow from these two, I have to bring x1 minus x2 term. How to find that? Simply, if I divide a by b, if I divide a by b, then I shall get c to the power x1 by c to the power x2 and then c to the power x1 minus x2. So a by b is equal to c to the power x1 minus x2. Then x1 minus x2 is equal to the log of a by b to the c. So I have got my answer again. So log of a to the best c minus log of b to the best c this will equal to log of a by b to the best c. So from the first two properties of logarithm we can see logarithm changes minus into division and the plus into multiplication. This is the beauty of logarithm. Okay. Next one. Next one is far more interesting. Log of m to the power n to the base a this is equal to n into log of m to the base a. Okay. Let's find out how. Let me assume this one as x1 and only this much portion, this log of m to the base a portion as... Okay, I don't have to assume anything. Now let's find out from here. I get from this, since I have assumed x1 equal to this one, therefore I get m to the power m is equal to a to the power x1, right? And uh, I have to assume something, I let it be x2. Then I shall get m equal to a to the power x2. Now m equal to a to the power x2. So if I substitute this m by, if I mean if I plug this one into here, then it will become a to the power n into x2 equal to a to the power x1. Now, a, a, same. Therefore, these two will be same also. And they will be n into x2 equal to x1. So x1 was this thing and x2 was this thing. So n into log of this is equal to log of n to the power n by a. Okay? So it is also proved. It is a very beautiful one. Log brings this power in the front. It is a very useful property and it can be used in several locations. I shall show it in the future when I shall solve a problem. Next. Next is log of a to the base b. This is equal to log of a to the base some other base c and log of b to the base c. These two bases should be same. But in this way, I can make a log. I can make a log into the uh, you know the division of two logarithms. Okay. Just we have to introduce a newer uh, base. Let me prove this one. To prove it, I'm assuming this one as x, x, this one as x1, and this one as x2. Okay? Now, if this thing comes in the examination and it is asked to prove, please don't do like this type of thing. I am just doing it to save the time. In examination, you have to write, let us assume that this thing is equal to this thing, this thing equal to this thing, and this thing equal to this thing. And then you have to proceed, okay? But in this, for my case, I can find it, uh, I can write in this way. And from this, I get A is equal to B to the power X. And from here, I get 
A is equal to C to the power x, and from here I get B is equal to C to the power x2. This one is x1. Okay. Now, let me plug the values of A and B here. So A is equal to C to the power x. Then, if I put it, C to the power x, and B is equal to C to the power x2. So C to the power x2 to the power x. That is C x into x2. Right? Then, see what happens. I am, this C, C is same. Therefore, this x and x, this x1 and x into x2, they will also be same. And we shall get x1 equal to x into x2 or in other words x is equal to x1 by x2 i assume this one is x1 this one is x2 and this one is x i have got my equal answer it is hence proved so this is a very useful one and a fantastic one okay next property or the property number four is a direct application of this formula that says log of a to the base b into log of b to the base a, this one is equal to 1. It is very simple to prove. Using the previous formula, I can write it as log of a to the base c, log of b to the base c into log of b to the base c, log of a to the base c. I think it is done. Clear? Next. Next one is far more sweeter one. It is a to the power log of b to the base a. And this will be equal to b. Let's prove it. Let me assume. Let me assume this one log of b to the base a is equal to x. So what does it imply? Remember one thing, this proof is one line proof, but it is very beautiful. Log of b to the base a is equal to one is equal to x, I have assumed. Now, b is equal to a to the power x, and it is proved. How to do it? I assumed a to the power this, I had this, and I assumed log of b to the base a equal to x. So what actually I wanted here from here, a to the power x is equal to b, what I wanted actually, and I have got it here. From this line, if anyone gets any doubt, b is equal to a to the power, if the value of x is log of b to the base a. This is one of the most favorite proof of mine from logarithm. One line proof, very simple, but very beautiful. This is the beauty of mathematics. Here lies the actual beauty of proving. And if someone gets the real flavor of proving now, he may prove, he or she may prove only one problem in the entire month. But the time when he or she proves it, this is the best time for a lifetime. Okay? So, this were all about logarithm or the formula of logarithm. Now I can write them down one by one. First one was log of a plus log of b is equal to log of a. Yeah, I am not writing the base because this is the main skeleton of the formula. Log of a minus log of b is equal to log of a by b. Second one, third one is log of m to the power n to the base a is equal to n log of m to the base a. Then fourth, log of uh, log of b by log of b to the base a is equal to log of b to the base c log of a to the base c. Then number five is log of a to the base b into log of b to the base a is equal to one. And then number six, I need to wipe it. Number six, I'm writing it here. Number six is log of a to the power log of a b to the base a is equal to b. Okay. 
Now, there are some simple corollaries like log of 1 to the base anything is equal to 0 always. Why? Let my base is A. Okay? Then I can take this number as A also. Then, 1 can be written as a to the power 0 and if 1 can be written as a to the power 0 then this 0 will come outside according to this formula this 0 will come outside so it will be 0 into log of a to the less a and this one finally will become 0 ok because 0 into anything is equal to 0 now while proving this one I come by this term log of a to the less a okay what is the value of this let us find it let it be equal to x and if it is x then a to the power x is equal to a a is same so the powers will also be same a has power 1 here therefore it is x equal to 1 okay so log of a to the base a that is if the base and this number is same then it is 1 So far so good. Next, let me write two different numbers. One is 10 and another is E. Exactly. It is English letter E. Okay. Now, we know everything about 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We know about it. 2 into 5. 20 divided by 2 gives 10. Okay. It's very good. But the speciality comes here to this E. What is this actually? This E is a very special number like pi. You all know. Probably there are two very precious number we have in mathematics. They are pi and E. Without these two numbers, I don't know what will happen. Now, we all know about pi already. Okay, while solving the circle, the uh, circumference of circle, area of circle, a cylinder, then we come by this. Okay, and the approximate value of pi is 22 by 7, right? We use pi equal to 22 by 7, but it is not. Pi is approximately equal to 22 by 7. Why it is so? I shall tell it later. Now, E is a number which is between 2 and 3 and an approximate value of E is 2.732 dot 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 now there is one thing what is this? this is an expression well if we substitute several natural number in the place of n here and here we shall get several numbers here I am introducing an idea of sequence. What is sequence? Sequence is something which is arranged in order. This is such a sequence, a sequence of numbers where this n runs through set of our natural numbers. And what is natural numbers? Set of our natural numbers is 1, 2, 3, da, da, da. Okay? Now, when I put 1 here, then the number is 1 plus 1 by 1, so 1 to the power 1, so 2. That is 1 plus 1 by 1 to the power 1. Second number is 1 plus 1 by 2 to the power 2. Third number is 1 plus 1 by 3 to the power 3. So on. Now, let me tell about the idea of infinity. What is infinity? Some say this one is infinity. You know, there is a symbol which represents infinity. Then what is infinity? Some say 1 by 0 is equal to infinity. This is partially true and partially wrong. A blunder. Partially blunder and partially correct. Intuitively, I can say that 1 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to 10. Right? 1 divided by 0 0.01 is equal to 100. Okay? 1 divided by 0 0.001 is equal to 1000. So, I can show here one thing that as I am decreasing the denominator, the final answer is becoming larger. 
So in this way, if I proceed in this way and after some time, if I put the lowest possible number, lowest possible number, actually the uh, modulus value of the number I'm talking, if I consider the lowest possible number that is zero, then the number on the right hand side will be such large, such large, that will be the largest of all. And that number is denoted by this symbol. What does this symbol mean? Is this special symbol a number? No. But this denotes infinity. Can we understand infinity? No. Can we reach infinity? Absolutely no. Can we visualize infinity? Partly yes. Infinity is something like you provide me a very big number. As much large number as possible. Give me that. Let it be G. I am denoting by G. However large it may be, but my infinity is still greater than that. This is the definition of infinity. Whatever large number you provide me, I can produce higher number. And that is infinity. Okay? That is the concept of infinity. So, if I put infinity in this place, or in other words, it is the first term, it is the second term, it is the third term of this sequence. If I find the infinite term, infinite term, if I find that, like when I am saying this term now, is infinite, infinite term, this is what I am using now. All my degrees related to mathematics from class 11 to MSc should be cancelled. People should call me as an unpar gavar. Do you know why? Because infinite word is a scene. To say infinite is a scene and being a math student, I never should say this one. But for the sake of understanding at this level, since I haven't yet discussed about limit, therefore I can say that infinite term. So it means if we put the, if we find the terms up to infinity, then the term at infinity we shall get is this number. This is the origin of E. E itself is a very large thing to understand and to discuss and to study. Okay, so enough about these two numbers. Now let me tell what happens when we take them as the base. Now taking 10 as the base, I find log of 10, that is what we get, and log of something a to the base e is denoted by this special symbol ln a. Log of e is denoted by ln a. If anywhere ln a is written, we shall understand that the base is e. And if nothing is written in the place of log, nothing is written, then we shall understand that this is base is 10. Okay, in general. But in the case of calculus, this one mostly used. Now these two has vast applications, like we all know about the pH scale, okay? pH scale we all know, and pH scale is nothing. pH of a solution, of an, or an acid solution or base solution is nothing but this one. Logarithm to the base 10 of hydrogen ion, concentration of hydrogen ion, just take a minus in the beginning. This is pH scale. And this is the denoter of acidity, basicity, neutrality, and so many things. So this log is a very useful thing in the chemistry of solutions. Okay, log 10. It comes here there frequently. And I think this chapter is there in class 12 chemistry. And it is a very interesting one. The problems are really beautiful. And this ANA, this guy is, you know, uh, the most beautiful, I think, one of the most beautiful women in the mathematics universe. This alien A comes so many times in calculus and in several natural processes. Like we know about radioactive decay. Find radioactive decay. This is a radioactive sample. And after some time, this disintegrates and remains the, if this is x, then it will become x by 2. I mean, it becomes half. This is known as half-life. While deriving the formula, this alien A comes. And those who already has studied nuclear physics or who has studied 
several uh, mathematical biology portion about the uh, colony of a bacteria or something like that, they know that this integration dx by x, this gives this ln x. Here is the origin of this ln and that's why in so many cases this ln arises. Now those who want to learn about it, they, if they are in the science field, they can find it within a few days in their class 11 and 12 level mathematics, physics and chemistry. And those who simply want to know about it, they obviously can go through several popular science books, okay? So that's it. I think enough for logarithm. Mm. No problems can be solved easily. There are so many good problems available in so many books. And I shall recommend some books in, later on. But for clearing the concept, one problem is needed. And let me solve one problem here. The problem says, uh, which one will be better? Okay, x is equal to log of a to the base 2a, y is equal to log of 2a to the base 3a, z is equal to log of 3a to the base 4a. Okay, now the problem says as to prove, to prove, to prove x, y, z plus 1. And that is equal to 2yz. This is the thing that we have to prove here. Let me prove it. First of all, let me find out this xyz. What will be this one? Log of a to the best 2a. Log of 2a to the best 3a. Log of 3a to the best 4a. How to find it? We have one formula of multiplication. Okay? And that is this one. Can we apply this here? No, because in that case a a b b should be there. But here a 3a 2a 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 is same, but a 3a is different. So only thing we are have is this one. Okay, because I cannot use this minus one formula. I cannot use this one because it requires plus in between. But here is multiplication here, and also the bases are different. So let me. Find it. Let me introduce some new base. Uh, you know what is happening? This is a slope. I am not writing in wrong way. That very really saves life. Okay. Now. Okay, so it is remaining only, let me wipe this out, log of a to the base c divided by log of 4a to the base c and it is equal to log of a to the base 4a, okay. And what is the left hand side of the problem? It says x, y, z plus 1 and what is x, y, z? x, y, z is log of a to the base 4a. Now, I have to add some 1 here. See the right hand side. The right hand side contains only log related terms because it is 2yz. Yz are log related terms. So I have to write this 1 using log in such a way so that I can use a formula here. Now which formula can be used? From here I can see this one. My plus is there in between. This is the only viable because if I can find some, I can write something uh, here using log of this one, we can calculate it further. So what we have to write, first of all to use the formula, we have to write this 4a as the base. So if 4a is the base, then what will make 1 here? Obviously 4a. So using the formula, I get 4a square to the base 4a. Okay. So 4a square to the base 4a, then now 4a square is equal to 2a whole square, right? Then log of 2a whole square 4a, then 2a with this 2 will come outside according to this formula, okay? According to this formula, 2, a will, 2 will come outside. Now from this right hand side, I have got 2 here, okay? 
Let's find out y and z. So what is y? y was log of 2a to the base 3a and z was log of 3a to the base 4a. Okay. So if I simply multiply, I mean multiply this to like the previous one, what I shall get? When I multiply y and z now, I get log of, I'm doing the same thing as I did previously, 2a divided, 2a to the base c divided by log of 3a to the base c into log of 3a to the base c divided by log of 4a to the base c. So like the previous case, this one, this one cancels out, remaining log of 2a to the base c divided by log of 4a to the base c. Again, applying this formula in the backwards, I can find out this one is equal to log of 2a to the base 4a. Okay, this is what I have got here. So it is log of actually what I multiplied this to log of 2a to the base 3a into log of 3a to the base 4a. And this one is y, this one is z, so this is equal to 2yz. Hence, right hand side is root. Okay, I hope that this problem will help to understand the how, understand how to apply the formula and how to approach the problems. There are so many good problems can be found in any book which have logarithm in it. Especially I would suggest both Bengali or English version, whatever someone like, of SND, Saurendra Nade, the book of SND, and also the book by Sen, Sen Chattopadhyay. And both this book of class 11 of West Bengal book board of old syllabus. And this book can be found abundantly in, in College Street. Uh, this old version, old service book can be found in both Bengali and English version. And those who are studying, those who are not in Kolkata, they also can find in so many other books also. Uh, actually, I don't know what other boards use. But I can tell about a very beautiful book if anyone is interested about logarithm and that is a primer on logarithm. A primer on logarithm by Shailesh Shirali. Shailesh Shirali, and it has been published by University Press. University Press India, Private Limited. This book, uh, I came by this book almost four years ago and this book contains a history of logarithm, several fields of application of logarithm and so many other things are there. Uh, it, it is a very good book to, uh, you know, to feel logarithm actually and to understand what is actually logarithm. Okay, so this is all about logarithm and I would suggest whatever the book you find, try to solve the problems because some problems of logarithm can really make some, uh, you know, can really make some problems. Some problems can make problems, okay? So try to solve them. And if anywhere find any doubt, directly send this to me. I may, if I don't get enough time, I can send it by WhatsApp or by mail. Or if I get time, I shall solve it here in videos, okay? Now, this one was a very special video, as I said before. Now, if you guys have any type of this type of requests, you can obviously send me via WhatsApp or mail and I shall try to make the videos as soon as possible. Okay? So, do your best. All the best. Love you all. Vande Mataram Jai Hind and Namaskar.